Hi, I'm Kayla Robinson. I'm a STEM program specialist at Girl Scouts of Central Texas, and I help out with the Mobile STEM Experience Center. That means I get to help transport fun and high quality STEM programming to girls and troops everywhere around my council. Today, we're gonna to take on a design challenge from the Cadet Think Like an Engineer journey. At the end of this video, you'll know how engineers solve problems and you'll engineer a life vest that helps a dog to flow. The challenge will take about 50 minutes to complete with 10 minutes of prep and about 10 minutes of cleanup. To prepare for the challenge, you'll need to one, gather your materials, two, create a model dog, and then three, build your testing station. For your life vest, you'll need one unopened 12 ounce can, two or more sheets of styrofoam, th two plastic bags, three large rubber bands, a couple of sheets of blank paper, scissors, a pencil, a stopwatch or timer like the one on your phone, some duct tape and markers. If you're missing a material or have another idea for something that might be useful, feel free to try them out. For example, you might wanna test things that float like styrofoam or other packing materials. Trying out different ideas to see what works is something engineers do. Next, we're gonna create a model dog for our challenge. To create a dog like this, we're gonna take a sheet of foam, sketch and cut out four paws and a head, then attach them to your can with some tape. If you have an adult present, you might wanna to try to attach them with hot glue like I did to secure them when they float. If you wanna create an animal that isn't a dog, that's great. Feel free to use the foam sheet to create and cut out any type of animal that you'd like. Finally, we need to create a testing station. Fill your tub or large plastic container up with water. If you use a separate container, place it in the area of the room that can get wet. Make sure to have towels nearby, just in case for easy cleanup. Now let's get started on the design challenge. You've been hired by a family who has a corgi named Chloe. Corgis have a hard time swimming because of their short legs. To prepare for a trip, the family has asked you to design and engineer a life vest for Chloe so she can float and play with the children in the lake. If you have made a different type of animal, Use your imagination and create a reason why your animal might need to float. For the challenge, you'll make a prototype of the life vest to help your model animal float. A prototype is a quick way to show an idea to others or to try it out. It can be as simple as a drawing, or it might be made with materials you can find around the house like cardboard, string, and rubber bands. But how do you go about engineering a prototype? Well, engineers go through certain steps to solve problems. Those steps are called the design thinking process. First, engineers identify a problem. You just found out what your challenge is. That's the first step of the design thinking process. Next, engineers come up with different ideas for how they can solve the problem. As they think about all the different possible solutions, they make sure to think about criteria and constraints of their design. Criteria are the things the design needs to accomplish. They're the goals for a prototype. Constraints are the ways a design is limited. For example, there might only be a certain amount of time to build the prototype or a limited amount of materials to make it. After engineers look at different possibilities for their design, they pick one idea to prototype. Once they've built it, they test their design to see how well it works. Then they might make changes to their prototype based on what they've learned. You'll go through the same steps to build your prototype. Identify the problem, brainstorm and plan, build and test and improve. Now we've identified the problem we're trying to solve in the design challenge. We need to engineer a life vest for Chloe so she can swim in the water. But we need to make a plan. Just like engineers, you need to create a plan and keep in mind the criteria and constraints of your design. The criteria for the challenge is that your life vest must one, allow the dog to float with its head above the water for 10 seconds, and two, easily attach and detach from the dog. The constraint is that you can only use your challenge materials, including the plastic bags, foam sheets, and rubber bands. If you also gathered other materials to use, like styrofoam, feel free to try them out. So spend a few minutes brainstorming the ideas of your life vest. Sketch your ideas on sheets of scratch paper. Don't be afraid to try out features, both possible and impossible. Once you have some ideas, choose one to turn into a prototype, then use your plan and materials to create a life vest for your model animal. 
As you build, feel free to try lots of different ideas to see what works and what doesn't work. Remember, the goal is to try to think like an engineer, not to create a perfect vest. When you think you have a finished prototype, test it out and see how well it works. Before you start testing, think about what will happen to your prototype. Will Chloe be able to float? Will the model sink? Take a guess. Then find out if you were right. Test the prototype by placing the life vest on the model dog as quickly as possible. Place the dog into the water to see whether or not its head can stay afloat in the tub of water for at least 10 seconds. During the test, you might find things that work and others that don't. So after testing, make sure to ask yourself, how could you improve the prototype? Then improve your prototype using what you've learned. Once you have a new version, test it again to see if your changes worked. Once you've created the life vest or any type of prototype, you can share it with others. They can help you think of new ideas and look for ways to make your prototype even better. After the design challenge, it's a good idea to think about what you've learned, what you liked or didn't like, and what you might want to do next. So once you're done testing your prototype, you might want to ask yourself, what did you find enjoyable or difficult about the challenge? What did you learn? What would you like to learn next? What other problems could you solve with the design thinking process? And finally, could you see yourself as an engineer? And that's it! You've completed a design challenge from the cadet Think Like an Engineer journey. You've learned about the design thinking process and used those steps to engineer a prototype of a life vest. If you have fun with this design activity, check out other activities in the Think Like an Engineer journey or explore more about engineering and computer science with the robotics badges. If you like this video, please share it with another girl. And if you aren't a Girl Scout, please join us. You can go to girlscouts.org to learn more. Thanks so much to the Museum of Science in Boston for the original design challenge, and thanks to you for watching. Bye-bye.